and welcome to Studio Set Stage, a weekly podcast with us, Cynthia Mallard and Mark Dean, where we take you from the studio to the set to the stage in the world of entertainment. What's up, what's up, Studio Set Stage? I'm Cynthia Mallard. And I'm Mark Dean. Hey, guys, we are back. So happy to be back with you guys after the holidays. Yes, we took a a little slight vacation. Everybody needs a little uh, rest and relaxation sometimes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we took a... uh hiatus from the yeah. 4th of July. Yeah. Um, we celebrated, well, it was, for me, it was an extension of Juneteenth. <laughs> right, um, exactly. You know, that ran away to July. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, <laughs> we, you know how we do it now. We celebrate it all month long. That's right, just know. like your birthday, right? Uh-huh. It's no really. longer a birthday, is a birth month. Yes, Yeah, yes. a couple of months or whatever. And the things that are really important to celebrate, you want to celebrate that year round, yeah. all, all day, every day. That's yeah. how I feel. Yeah, well, <laughs> we just want to know how you guys are doing. Yeah. Uh, it's so many different things are happening like I said mm-hmm. we talked about the holidays but you yes. know what uh, we we were for this episode we definitely just wanted to talk about um, how appropriate it is to talk about holidays but we really don't get a holiday in studio set stage not oh, for no. real not for oh, real, no. real yeah no like I say and I've said previously the weekend is not the end of my week Mm-mm. and the holidays is not really the time you really take off exactly you know you know yeah. um, sometimes I think mm. about it because you know in our society and like I said especially if you have work like a nine to five or a mm-hmm. corporate job, right? Yeah. You're always looking toward like the weekend, right? Yes. And you got to ask yourself, you know, I think we had this conversation mm-hmm. all off air. It was like, you know, why does everybody look forward to the weekend? Because you sick of doing possibly what you're doing from Monday through Friday or working for someone yeah. else, right? Yeah. And it's almost a programming mm. thing that goes on. Mm. You know, you program to, okay, well, yes, you know, it's um, you break it down in terms of time. You know, you're looking at, well, you're going to work five days a week. You mm-hmm. get two days off. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. of course, um, some that are working in certain positions, they have those rotating schedules where, you know, you might not be off on a weekend. Mm-hmm. You know, you might be off on a Monday, Tuesday, uh, certain service industry. You talking like people. you got some experience. Yeah. Like, you oh, know, yeah. I, <laughs> like we I, all, yeah. we all, got, like I yeah. said, we, we are studio yeah. set stages, of course, <laughs> just like you. Uh, we've yeah. all been through like the nine to five job mm-hmm. and you're looking forward to the weekend. Yes. But, you know, once you like venture over into the studio set stage full time, right? Full time, full time, it totally changes, yes. right? You are on 24 seven. Exactly. Or as they say, 25 <laughs> eight. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. Um, you're never off the clock. Right. Um, um, in this thing, and of course, it's unorthodox. You know, it's a hurry and wait situation. It's a hurry up and wait scenario anyway. But mm-hmm. when you get the gig, you might get that call mm-hmm. when other people are asleep. Exactly. You're up, exactly. You know, it is a twenty-four. No I, I, you know, I tell even I tell some of my friends. I know mm-hmm. uh, people who have known me for a long time. Yeah. Uh, lots of things I missed. Like I, yeah. I just remember. Um, just several events, you know. I miss them because mm-hmm. why? Uh, maybe I was on a, on a set. Maybe I was working yeah. uh, on air. But it it didn't bother me oh, yeah. because because that's what I do, you know. Yeah. Like that's that's what I am, you know. That's what I was paid to do. Uh, that's what I want to do, and that was, was what I was born to do. And you know, um, getting it done, getting mm-hmm. the job done. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of times that takes a lot of coordination takes a lot of organization uh, to get everybody and coordinate because it might be several different people that's involved in making this project come to fruition. And you might be in the studio Mm -hmm. and, you know, you might say, well, I can work out this time. I can be in the studio. But then this other person might be on the other side of the country. Ain't nobody worried about Christmas. Ain't nobody worried about Fourth of July. And they got to make it happen. You got to make it happen. You got to make it happen. It's either do or die. It is. It is. So so basically, like I said, we were just having uh, really just an impromptu uh, conversation Mm -hmm. about it, how everybody, especially when you look on social media, everybody's like, oh, you know, welcome to the freaking weekend. And, you know, Mm -hmm. people are like, uh, let's, you know, it's Thursday. It's almost Friday. You know, Mm -hmm. Um, you have to examine that. Oh, yeah. If you are one of those people who's like, oh, my God, I cannot wait till it's Thursday or Friday so I can get away from this job. Yo, that's what we're talking about today. Yeah. Like that is a serious freaking problem. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what's the abbreviation for 
the job or J-O-B. I mean, mm, in the industry, yeah, you have yeah, a lot of, of abbreviated course. terms. Yeah. But acronyms. Yeah. Acronyms. Yeah, yeah. All of that. Yeah. What does it, say, what does it stand for? J-O-B. Mm-hmm. Just over broke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I think we all, yeah. I think we all kind of, I mean, mm-hmm. we kind of know, um, you know, we've all been there, you mm-hmm. know? Oh, yeah. And um, as studio says stagers, you know, it's just, it's a journey. Right, it is. It's a journey it from, okay, let me just do what somebody else is doing to why am I doing this to I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah. Like, seriously, that's, that's the journey. It is. And you have to understand that. Really, you have to overstand that. Mm-hmm. It is a journey. And there's a process to the journey. Mm. Um, and again, like we said, this thing is unorthodox, you know, um, it's an end result situation. A lot of the things that you see are the result and of, you know, years mm. of development. And planting and seeds. And planting what? seeds and building your craft, you know, um, where now you're just prepared. And really, I was I was saying this to some people uh, this past week. You have to, in this in business. Class, in your classes. Yeah, in my or class, yeah. 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 In my class and also talking to a couple of colleagues, you have to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Man. Because you might not have time. That's such a oh when an God. opportunity comes, mm-hmm. you might not have time to get ready. Right, right. So you have to stay ready. You do. You, you have do. to be consistent and you have to stay the course. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. it's that moment where you might be trying to throw in the towel oh, man. or you just feel fatigued. And, you know, it's a balance. Mm -hmm, You have mm -hmm. to balance it out. Mm -hmm. But, you know, consistency Mm -hmm. is one of those elements that it it, it equates to being successful. It does. you got to stay the course in this thing, you know? I will tell you, um, just recently, guys, I know um, this week, you know, we were talking about, like you said, you were talking about consistency and Mm -hmm. things like that. Right. And uh, many of you know, um, I do, you know, I do media, of course. Mm -hmm. I do theatrics. Uh, That that world is is my, I am in that world. (laughs) You know, I feel like I was born uh, to be in that world. Let me say all day, every day. All day, every day. Even when I was in (laughs) high school, school, elementary, uh, college, you know, even working my nine to five uh, at the time. But, you know, during those times, I was laying seeds. Mm -hmm. You know, we are studio set stages. You're, you know, you're you're a guitar player. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you're a gaffer. You do whatever it is that you do. Maybe you're an uh, an author. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you're always planting seeds whenever you can. You know what I'm saying? You have to. Just because you have Mm -hmm. a nine to five doesn't mean you don't plant the seeds. And I think, I think a lot of us fall into that category, you right, know, right. Um, you, you get the nine to five because you're trying to pay the bills. You got to pay your mortgage. You got to pay your car note. And we get that. Right. But you have to also on the side be sowing those seeds for the thing that you really, really want to do or mm-hmm. feel like you were born to do. And you have to make sure that you have a concrete mm. vision of your purpose, your mm-hmm. reason. OK, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, is a reason you have this job yeah. to facilitate maybe a way for you to do what you want to do. Exactly. So consistency yeah. is the key. And so I, I huh. was alluding to like this week, I know last week was the holiday and mm-hmm. things like that. And now we, we yeah. were talking about how, you know, we never, we're never off. This is never what it off. is. You just, you, it's never a 24 off. hour, especially if you feel like you were born to do this. <laughs> Sometimes you just, you just not off, you know, no, no. Uh, this is, this is what you've been charged to do with in your life. So right. last week, a lot of people were, were, were celebrating, we were celebrating things like that. But I had to continue work. Oh, so yeah. on the theatric oh, yeah. side, on the acting side, you know, I was continuing to like um, audition, you know, voiceovers, mm-hmm. uh, audition for on camera work. And I actually, actually booked a role on a network television show. All right, so, all right, yeah. all right. Congrats, so, congrats, so thank congrats. Thank you so very yes. much. But it's about, no it's about the consistency, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, yeah. there have been times when I have been like, oh, my God, like, I'm done. I'm done. Mm-hmm. I'm out. I'm out, you know. Right. And then something, like you said, pulls you right back. Yeah. But I can tell you, like, if people want to know specifics, I, I know you studio set stages out there. You're like, well, how many auditions, you know, do you do or have to do uh, before you're actually, you know, booking that role? I can sit here and you know it, Mark mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Guys, I don't even think I counted the auditions that I've done uh, since the last booking uh, on camera when I did Being Mary Jane. Right. Uh, but um, I would tell you guys, it's at least... It might be at least uh, 60 to 70 auditions. Oh, yeah. That I did not book, have not booked. Yeah. And then that one came through this week. Right. Like, um, 
you know that the saying mm-hmm. um you get and you know i mean when you say that mm. that's that's so many levels to that it's powerful it's powerful, it's powerful oh my god because yes. that's a testament to staying the course mm. and you have to understand you're going to hear a uh, probably a hundred mm-hmm. no's before you get that one yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That will change the course. Yeah, yeah. And and same thing with me. I mean, even though it was the holidays, people were inviting me out to the beach and oh man, you know, July I wanted to put my feet in the sand. And I will see the beach eventually. Yeah, yeah definitely. But however, it goes back to okay, I do have a little time that I can look at the stock mm. of what I mm. have done. Yeah. Yeah. And then apply that because you can work, 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 work. But if you don't include strategy in that, mm. then you might be spinning your wheels. Exactly. And you exactly. might be focusing energy into an area where, okay, well, man, maybe you just, mm-hmm. you just burning yourself mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. You might need to refocus that energy or those efforts in another area right. that you haven't been doing. So say if you you're know, a, so no say doubt. if you're like for instance if you're if you are a script writer you mm-hmm. you're a set stager and yeah. you're a script writer just say um, that you right now you working at maybe I don't know Dunkin' Donuts you working <laughs> at the the, the, the local uh, mm. liquor store right right um, you you got your nine to five but when you come home you know you have your journal you know you continue to write in your journal whatever your story uh, that you have in your mind if it's just you just write one sentence a day or you write you're committed to writing what two sentences or a paragraph Mm -hmm. every week you know what those paragraphs add up right and they right they add up to a complete script that one day that you can submit uh to a producer or director or somebody who can green light uh your project so you're no longer going to the donut shop or the liquor store (laughs) right every bit counts Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know um even if you feel like okay i haven't accomplished much you know i've only um i've only done just a, a little bit mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. it's a little bit more it is it is know? a step forward and really you know you really can't account for that is honestly just basically doing what's doable mm-hmm, mm-hmm, do what's mm-hmm, doable mm-hmm. but don't let that take over you know yeah. you having the ability to follow your purpose and do what you're supposed to well, do. Well, you're alive. It, you know, right. I mean, come on. I, I always say, and people you know? probably think it's, it's like the corniest and the cheesiest thing. Mm-hmm. And if you think it's corny or whatever, you want to, you know, it's lame or whatever, leave it in the comments, okay? Studio Set Stage yeah, uh, right. dot com or yeah. all of our social media mm-hmm. uh, platforms. Um, but, yeah. I mean, you're alive, man. I mean, mm-hmm. you woke up, uh, you woke up to pursue. Why do you, I, I always say, why do you think you wake up? Studio set stages, like, why do you feel like you wake up every day? Do you think it's just to wake up and just just to ball out and just party and then you just die? No. (laughs) No, I mean, that's just that that's the way I approach things. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I wake up every day because there is something that I have to do. There is something that I have to accomplish in life, you know, because I am a big believer in um, sometimes I feel like. Um, especially if you've lived a, a full life, mm-hmm. like after you've done what you what you were supposed to do, like some, I feel like at that time it is time for you to go. Yes, yeah, you know, it's, it's time to take it. Like to the, the next, universe, right? right the mm-hmm. universe takes you away. Uh, mm-hmm. But I mean, I believe that some people don't don't believe in that. Mm. But if you wake up every day, it is an opportunity for you to live your highest potential. Yes, live to your highest potential. Yeah. You know, and, and that's why when I say consistency, um, you know, me walking onto a, a set this week, y'all, I, I, I'm going to tell you, I, I literally shed a tear because mm-hmm. I, I there is no way, like I said, after, you know, however, 60, 70 uh, auditions, you know, mm-hmm. uh, I heard, I saw, I actually read where one of the casting directors um, said that it's a marathon, Hello? Mm-hmm. Nipsey, it is. Nipsey, hey, yeah. Nipsey, mm-hmm. right? As you um, say, the marathon continues. The marathon right? continues, right. y'all. And mm-hmm. it is it is so freaking yeah. serious. You know, um, I, I I get messages from all of you studio set stages. And like I said, we love when we get um, the messages or whatever. Yeah. And I, I hear you guys, even when I'm like doing my Media Mondays tips mm-hmm. or when I'm doing my Thespian Thursdays tips, mm-hmm. n- many people reach out to me with um, frustrations. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, 
I and I, we hear you. We understand. We understand. Like you said, you know, getting emails and mm-hmm. and I actually over the over the holiday break, I, I took some time to actually listen to a couple of um you know and check out some of the emails. And again, mm-hmm. uh, guys, again, I just want to say before I get into that, thank you guys for the support. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the feedback. Yes, you know, yes. um, thank you for following us. Hallelujah. You know, subscribing, mm-hmm. you know, at Studio Set Stage, you know, on all of the social media. We definitely appreciate Especially that. Especially YouTube. Yes, yeah. YouTube, you know, and, and just listening Spotify, to this. Spotify, yes. uh, iHeart, Google Play. Yeah. Definitely Apple uh, Podcasts. Yeah, Apple Podcasts. So, yeah, 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 most definitely. And, you know, the thing is, I really feel that you know, the frustration comes out because you put so much of you mm, into what? what you're doing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my you know, gosh. However, yeah, you, do. you know, you have to know that it's not given to the swift, but it's given to the ones that stay in the race. Mm-hmm. You got to stay in the race. Mm-hmm. And it's not for the faint. You know, you're going to have some hills. You're going to have some valleys. And sometimes it might not be for you. Let, let, let's just be, let's just because, I mean, we, we've had this conversation too. Yeah. If you know, sometimes it's yeah. just not, um, sometimes you have to face that. Sometimes yeah. as a studio yeah. set mm-hmm. stager, um, you may say, oh, this is me. Oh, I, I got to do this. this. This is what I'm supposed to be, you know, but it might not be for you. But, you know, that also is indicative of your drive. Yeah. And what I would you're just say to this, do. Yeah. you know, um, you have. And I think people got to, you got to understand the term, you know, people say, well, I'm loyal. Mm -hmm. Um, And Master P talked about this uh, this past week. Mm. Um, He was saying, you know, he's not looking for people that say they're loyal. Wow. He's looking for people that's committed. Oh, man. Because there is a difference between loyalty and commitment. Well, let's break that down. What's the difference? Loyalty and commitment. Well, Let's start with loyalty. All right. Loyalty meaning that, okay, hey, look, I am, I agree <laughs> with this person or I'm riding, I'm rolling with this person. Yeah. You know, through, you it's know, gonna do whatever. whatever they say. And exactly. I'm going to do it. Yeah. But however, you can be loyal. You got on blue, I got on blue. Yeah, that type of thing. I'm going to wear blue because you got blue on. Right. Right. And, <laughs> you know, it might be difference. It's a difference in, okay, this is why I'm mm. loyal to this. Mm. And this person might have a different aspect on their loyalty in regards to that particular thing where you're committed. Everybody seems like they're on one accord because when you're committed to mm-hmm, something, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. there's a mutual. It seems like there's a mutual understanding or overstanding Honestly. Well, I'm going to go I'm going to go even further. Right. Uh, a commitment means, yo, you are committed, you are steadfast, you're yes. going to show up. You're going to show up until the, up. Until, the, until the job is done. Right. That's what I look at as commitment. Like I think about like my jobs as news director mm-hmm. or news anchor or um actress like yeah. I, I have always prided myself like I am a person who is committed. Yeah. Committed to the result. You yeah. know, it, I got to anchor. To I got to anchor this shift five a.m. to uh, yeah. eleven. I am committed. I am going to show up with a hundred and fifty percent and give it my all. Exactly. You're going to see me every single day, unless you tell me, Cynthia, I don't want to see your, your butt in here <laughs> anymore. You know, right. that's a commitment. I am right. committed uh, to being uh, the best possibly media person ever, or whatever. Right. You know. Right. And you have to have that. You have to have that approach to it because mm-hmm. if not, mm-hmm. you know. You're always going to fall short of your goal, what you're trying to do, because you're thinking, well, you know, hey, I'm, I'm trying to do my best. You, mm-hmm, gotta, you ain't got to mm-hmm, try. Mm-hmm. It's about knowing, OK, this is what is required and yeah. this is what I have to do. And if you're loyal to somebody, say you're lo- say you're loyal, say I- I'm loyal to to Mark Dean. Right. I'm mm-hmm. just saying in, in the working environment, say I'm loyal to Mark Dean. And then Mark Dean, you decide to, oh, I'm going to go jump off the roof or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just because you jump off the roof, then I, now I got to go jump off the roof, too. Because what? I'm loyal to you, right? <laughs> I'm just I'm yeah. just thinking about I it mean, in a different, you yeah, know, kind of layman's term. When you break you know? it down yeah, like that. exactly. Um, but, you know, in this thing, and, and like you said, kind of getting back to, you know, really when you're looking at this in this craft, and what is required, it takes that level of commitment. Mm. We know about Oprah because she was yeah. committed. 
We yeah. know we know about well Jeff Zuckerberg, but why? Because he was committed, you know. Um, we know about what Elizabeth Warren, uh, our presidential uh, candidate, uh, because she's committed, you know. Uh, Barack Obama, he was our president. Barack Obama, he was committed, you know, mm-hmm. to helping yeah. and changing a nation. So we know those people. That that's what commitment looks like, you know. In different, you know, I, of course I use politics or whatever, mm-hmm. but um, Master P, like you said, committed. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jay-Z, Jay-Z, committed to be his brother's keeper. Hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you know, and and those are some great examples. And even not only from that, but just looking at from from an individual Mm -hmm. standpoint, Mm -hmm. you Mm -hmm. want to, you know, achieve your goal and you set it out because Everything that you see that's huge, that's big, started out as a simple idea. It did. It did. It did. But the difference between those that have great ideas and it's just an idea, it's gone and passed, Mm -hmm. and those ideas that come into fruition Mm -hmm. is they were committed Mm -hmm. to taking that idea, seeing the vision, and bringing it and making it happen. I will tell you, I will tell you being on set uh, this week, Mm -hmm. I thought about like in my dressing room, I literally sat there uh, while I was going through my script or whatever. I thought Mm -hmm. about all of the days, Mm -hmm. all of the mornings, all the stage plays, like seriously, Mark Dean, like I literally was was like, yo, I thought about all the classes that I went to, all the workshops you know, yeah. that I went to, you know, all yeah. of the, the rehearsal, learning, you know, my stage placement, learning, like go, reading all these different plays. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, you know what? Um, I've done some of the steps that's got me here today, you know, this week or whatever. Right. And and like you said before, you know, not to <laughs> sound like a broken record, mm-hmm. but the marathon continues. Mm-hmm. The, the marathon, marathon continues. continues. Exactly. The journey and the work, continues. The work is never over. And it's just it's the beginning. It's never over. But it's levels, mm-hmm. it's, it's layers. Mm-hmm. And, you mm-hmm. know, with each accomplishment, you know, you also uncover another layer you do. to it. You do, you do. And it's a beautiful thing. It is. It's part of the journey. It is. But, you know, you cannot let your s- current circumstances, you know, predict mm. your future mm. or your outcome. Mm. Because just like in you have a morning, you yeah. have a noon, you have a night. Yeah. Time keeps moving. Yeah. And you got to keep moving like time. Well, you're never going to be in the same moment no. that you are in right now. No. Like, like, you know, never. you know, we're parents. So uh, like your child <laughs> right. is never going to be a two. Your child is not yeah. going to be three again. You know, they're not going to be uh, 15 again. You know, mm. you're never going to have that Tuesday, July 9th. You know, mm-hmm. again, t- or t- yeah. 2019, you're never going to see July 9th, 2019 again. Exactly. Everything exactly. is moving forward and, and things and circumstances change. And so mm-hmm. you just got to be you got to be up. You just got to be up for the challenge, you right. know, and it's tough Have to be. Up. It is tough because yeah. think about, like I told you, 60 to 70 auditions. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine I know you can't studio set stagers because a lot yes. of you guys are in the you're in it you're in the trench with us. Whatever oh, yeah. you you might be trying to be a singer, mm-hmm. maybe you're trying to be a background vocal, maybe uh, maybe you're trying to be a script supervisor. What else? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, an engineer. Um, oh yeah, Cindy, it's funny you said that because yeah. um, just reminding me, I, I was um, talking to um, a artist that mm. was actually um, really you know trying to make some progress. You know, performing, doing live shows. Yeah, yeah, but. You know, it's still kind of, you know, it's cluttered because, you know, you have all these things you're trying to do, but you don't know the proper order. Mm. And that really goes back to, like we say before and many times, understanding the process. But sometimes you have to, like you say, you just working, you working, you working, but you don't really have a true understanding of, okay, what have I done? And... These are the next things that I need to do really, Mm -hmm. you know, initially not Mm -hmm. putting the cart before the horse. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I mean, but I I, I mean, it's a testament when you when you stay on course and you're seeing you're able to track it. You're able to look at it and say, okay, I've done these things Mm -hmm. now. 
this is the next thing. It is. And looking at it like, what is the next thing you can do within the next five minutes of accomplishing that thing you just did? Which leads right. us to, to say, <laughs> okay, so whatever you're doing, yeah. um, you need to seek out people right. who are actually doing it professionally mm -hmm. and possibly getting paid for it. I yes. mean, uh, you, you know, if you're if you're just joining us, this is Studio Set Stage. Yes. I'm Cynthia Mallard. And I'm Mark Dean. In studio. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you know, if you are looking to do whatever it is that you're trying to do in Studio Set Stage, Mm -hmm. uh, professionally, like you got to find somebody who's actually doing it. Right. You got to, if you're an actor, you got to find some people, some teachers, some coaches, possibly uh, fellow actors who are actually working in the biz, actually getting paid, uh, actually on the cutting edge of what's happening. Right. If you are an, 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 in mm -hmm. the music industry, yes. right. You want to be an artist. Yes. And I will say this, guys, you know, we talk about technology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Google. Mm -hmm. is a great platform for you to do research. Yeah. Find the people. You can find, find the, people. the people. Find the people. Nobody's nobody's unreachable. Do your research. Don't do, nobody everybody can be reached. Oprah can be reached. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh our president, uh Donald Trump, he mm -hmm. can be reached. Everybody can be reached or whatever. Well, so, I don't know if I want to reach out to him. You might not want to right right right. right. but you know, but you get the example. You get yeah. the example. But um find somebody who's actually doing it. I know and and and, and <laughs> for most times, most times it's uncomfortable. Yeah, Most it times it's very uncomfortable to reach out to somebody who's already doing what you want to do. Because sometimes I think you're worried about, oh, like what, how, what, what, what do they think of me? You know, do they think I'm weak? Yeah. Are they, do they think I'm not on their level? Like yeah. all those things I know uh, go through your mind. Yeah. You know? And, you know, the, I mean, of course, fear of the unknown, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm, uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's natural. Exactly. You it, know? Is. But, it is. But um, on the other side, if you overcome that, you'd be surprised. Because at the end of the day, um, that individual that you're trying to touch bases with, they breathe air. Right. They put on their clothes what? the same way you do. What? Okay. Um, but, you know, and then not to be, not to come off. I'm not trying to be cocky or anything. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that your vision starts with you. Right. No one else is going to see that. Mm -hmm. But you. But if, but if you believe in your vision, yes. someone else will too. Yes. That, that, now, exactly. I, have, I have noticed Say that. that. Again. Okay. Repeat if that you again. believe in your vision, Come on now. someone else will too. All now, right. if you don't believe in your vision, <laughs> right. they'll also see that too. They will see oh it. Oh my God. Let's they talk about this. Okay. If you don't believe in your vision, they can see through that too. They can see it too. They can just see a person who's real, who mm -hmm. real, real, who in this for real, who studio set staging for real every single day right. of their life. Right. And you come up yeah. lying because you just think it's always oh, just so glamorous. Mm -hmm. They can see that too. They can see straight through yeah. it. Um, as we saying, I'm breaking, I'm gonna break that on down. Okay, go Fake ahead. Fake breaking. Oh my god. You know, yeah. Um real recognize real. It does. Oh my god. And when you're genuine, that that shines. It, it does comes through it does. like the cream rises to the top when you're genuine that comes through as well the cream the mm -hmm. cream the cream of the crop uh, okay we never All saw right. the bottom we was born on the top uh, oh, that's oh. a sorrows that's a sorrows you know you know the sorrows at the studio set stage come on you know oh, i had yeah. to shout out my sorrows right. what's up y'all yeah yeah <laughs> Okay. Delta okay. Strong. Okay. All right. <laughs> you know, yeah. of course, I love all of my Divine Nine. I love yeah. all of you guys. Uh, we're in this together. But you know, yeah. something about that crimson and cream. Yeah. <laughs> and sh shout out to everybody for real because, man, we've been getting a lot of feedback from, like you said, yeah. you know, everyone. We <laughs> love it, man. Continue, continue the support, yeah. you know, and keep reaching out to us, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, and uh, don't forget to sign up for... Um, sign up at studiosetstage.com. Please oh, okay, do. yeah. Please so do. go there, uh, put Please your do. email in there. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll find like how you can support. Uh, you want to know about Mark Dean. You want to know about yes. Cynthia Mallard. Uh, that's the first place that you can contact us. Or you can just jump on shoot, jump on Facebook, Twitter, uh, IG. We're there too. We have we all we also we're on LinkedIn. So yes, uh, we, we are, are LinkedIn. everywhere. Yes. But we definitely like I said we need your support. Mm -hmm. uh, need you to subscribe, uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So that's how we know we need to keep on going. Or or maybe we need to shut shut it off, you know? Right, right. What, what, what we need to do, y'all? What we need to do? Exactly, exactly. And, you know, um, it's coming up. Um, We're coming up almost 
um on the second episode second the season, season right sorry, yeah second season. second season yeah the second yeah. season so yeah. you know um again thank you guys for all of the support mm-hmm. and all the follows we definitely appreciate it mm-hmm. well like i said um for you guys like i said we kind of we, we left off and and it, it, i was just saying listen somebody who is doing what you want to do mm-hmm. you know find them find yes. the mentors you know uh figure out what they got that you need Right. To actually be in the game, you know. And I want to add this to don't wait for somebody else to do for you what you can do for you. Man, so I mean, oh my God, Lord have mercy. Woo, you didn't drop the jewel. Don't wait for somebody else Mm -hmm. to do for you what you can do for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Meaning, do your research. Mm. Do, do your, your well, research. Do, do diligence. Work. Do the legwork. Just do, do it do yourself. Do diligence. Yeah. Do the legwork. Mm-hmm. Until you get to the point where you're so big and you, you don't have no time that you got to hire somebody else to do it for you. Okay? Mm-hmm. So no don't forget, like I said, we are on all social platforms. We love you guys. Yes. Um, don't forget to tune in to Studio Set Stage on YouTube. Uh, you'll find a lot of my Media Mondays tips and Thesbian Thursdays tips. I'm just dropping jewels, yo, in, in media and um, uh, in the thespian world, just things that I've gone through uh, throughout my life and just wanted to pass on the knowledge to you. Yes, indeed. We definitely want to provide tools and resources you can use. Remember to listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, iHeartRadio, and Google Play, guys. Join us next week for another edition of Studio Set Stage. I'm Cynthia Mallard. And I'm Mark Dean. Talk to you next time. Take care.